No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. If Declan arrives, he's gonna see the car. He'll know someone is here. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. USB, Syringes, bottles. Basswood has been having a tough few years. <laughs> Falling off is the least of my worries right now. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. You really scared me there. It won't happen again. I'm here. 100%. I hope so. I need you right now. I'm hoping this is the end of all this. One way or another. So much darkness, so fast. Nick. Dennis. I'm ready to see it end. We should get back to finding those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. I don't see it. Burying it would be a lot of work for Dickie. The dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. I don't know why I let this place haunt me for so long. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. 
You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? อันนี้ผมผมตอบดีผู้คนเชื่อใจคนผมจะถามเบสสุดเป็นยังไงบ้าง You always seem to care about this town, its history, its people. Why do this? I care more about this town than anyone. I spent my whole life protecting it. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. I have to think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick. He murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. I could try going for his gun. I could tackle Declan to get him off Anna. Muley, it's time to give it your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's stronger than he looks. Anna's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll kill you both. Declan came to tie up loose ends that night. Asshole, Asshole shot me with my own gun. There's a good chance he took it. Still, Still has, has it on him. You need to watch out. You're no good to anyone dead. Take, Take it from me. Yeah. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Come, come โอเคต่อไปมันเป็นทางเลือกของเราแล้วซึ่งมีมองดูเก็บปืนเก็บปืนนี่โดนไปแล้วนะครับจากที่ไปช่วยแอนนา If Anna can keep him busy a bit longer, I'll be able to close in on Declan. วิธีนึงคือปากก็ถิ่นใส่ Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Declan can't see me. I have to use this to my advantage. I should strike him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. That'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Hey, Anna, we don't, don't ring, what? We don't, right? Sam. Anna's safe for now. I need to keep it up.
Declan might continue going after Anna. That man is a monster, and he'll kill, kill you, you and my little girl as soon as spit. But he ain't dumb. If he uses his service his gun, it'd be traced back to him. And he's been covering his, his tracks track so far. You don't have to fight, just leave. None of this has to ever hurt you again. I'm done running. You know, Declan's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? He wants, he wants to, to destroy, destroy the evidence. And since your girlfriend has it, you better act fast, man. Declan might attack me now. If Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. แต่ถ้าผมซ่อนซ่อนก็โดนถ้าผมซ่อนก็โดนครับคือคิดนะ Declan might go for his gun If Declan heads this way I should wait here and ambush him If Declan tries to get his gun, he won't see an attack from the left. If Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Give me the evidence now. You want to get shot? Wait! Here, take it. <clears throat> Son of a bitch! <clears throat> if I don't do something, we're dead. But if I do the wrong thing, Account for all the elements at play here. I'm doing well. I have to stay one step ahead of Declan, and we'll get him. I could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. I could try calling for help. That ugly yellow phone is your best, best chance to call for help. That big jerk's not mm -hmm. stupid. Probably keep an eye on that phone. You have to save Anna. We dragged, dragged her into this mess. I dragged her into this mess. If you could distract Declan, Anna might have time, have time to get the gun. Keep his eyes, eyes on you, Sam. Okay. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky.
drop your gun, Declan. Anna. Hello? A woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please. Hey. This is Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? A local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however. The journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Okay. Lord. Yeah, not a lot. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. No, Anna told me what you did. How hard you fought. Thank you for keeping your word. I had to. That promise kept me going. I bet it did. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous situations, all right? Okay. Where are they? Where are Dad's notebooks? The yellow legal pad ones? You can get them later. You need to say hello to the guests who just arrived. The yellow ones were Dad's favorites. I wanted to start Joan? using them. Uh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just Joan give me Waldron. a minute. Don't make me say it again. Fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Careful, Muley. She's in one of her moods. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. It was hard before, but now... She's completely shut me out. It's not surprising, given what happened. This town is no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. Any advice? You can't keep blaming her for everything. You also have to work on your own issues. What? Who are you to say that to me? You don't know the first thing about me. I know Joan feels you don't listen to her. She told me last week she was about to leave for her aunts. She even told me about your pills, Kathy. She did. And you didn't think to come warn me? This shows how much you really care about her. Anyway, I was going to take some time off work, get myself together. After everything that's happened, I figured it's time I got a hold of things. I didn't need you to tell me that. Take care of yourself, Sam. Yeah. 
ไปทางไหนก็ฟุ้งฟุ้งกับเฮ้ยบอกเฮ้ยมิลลี่ฮาร์ยูโฮดนับฟินอ่ะเกสอืมอัลลีสั่นส่วนมากคนที่คนเรียกฉันว่าเขาถามคุณมาบอกฉันอยากรู้ว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกเป็นยังไงบ้างฉันรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่าคุณรู้สึกว่า It's not bad. At least it feels like, like, Declan didn't just get away with it, you know. Knowing people won't get away with hurting you, it feels good. Mostly. It mostly feels good. It's just, if I hadn't told you about Dad, maybe Anna wouldn't have gotten hurt. You didn't do anything wrong. You deserved to know the truth. So, you don't think I was just selfish, dragging you and Anna into it? We wouldn't have caught Declan without you, and Anna, she's not your fault. All right? Okay. I'm glad you think so. Hey, Muley, are you staying around this time? I can't stay, Bug. I talked to your mom. She's gonna try to do better by you. If she does, try to forgive her. All right? It won't be easy, but I know you're strong enough. Uh, I'll try. I'm gonna miss you, Muley. I'll really miss you. Me too, Bug. I need to find Anna. Call me whenever you want to. Deal? Yeah. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so impersonal. How are you holding up? Well, let's say that I've had better weeks. Not a hard thing to believe. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. That day, you said you need to ride until you can't anymore. Well. This is as far as I go. The basswood jungle has printed its last pages. If you feel it's the right thing to do, believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit. But my flame has run its course. Without Nick, without Dennis, can't run a paper by yourself. Nor would I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. Drop me a line sometime. Drop me a line. Okay, we're full now. This is the house. And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun, and since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. 
Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. You and the Basswood police have a lot to answer for. A lot. We do. Declan pulled the wool over all of our eyes. All I can say is, we're all just people. Ain't no such thing as the Basswood police. Just people entrusted with power. And Declan, as terrible as it seems he was, was not always a bad person. My sin is failing to see the man he became, rather than the one he once was. You were his commanding officer. You're the only one who could have stopped him. You're entitled to your opinion. Everyone is. No, I do my best. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. Though I guess you always do, huh? So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? <laughs> better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, know, you saved my life. Sure, I didn't get killed. I got you shot. Yeah, but only in a part I didn't need. I'm stronger than ever. Ow. <laughs> stronger mentally. What's wrong? I wish we'd gotten those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. You guess. You're alive. Let it go and enjoy having lived. I am. I am enjoying it. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so what are you gonna do next with your unshot and healthy body? I'm gonna get myself together. I've spent enough time moping. I'm glad to hear that. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we?
Mr. Higgs. Not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. Just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Thanks. I'm not used to people saying things like that. <laughs> you may have to get used to it. What you did helped everyone. Really bolstered the common good. Be proud. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. 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 Supplier? Get out the way! Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Pretty Check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I'd be best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. Common good. Common good. Common good. Young man, is everything all right? You? You're a sociopath. A monster. What? Young man, I know you've been under a lot of strain lately. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that, without proof, would never hold up. I saw Dickie picking up a box from your pharmacy. I know he was a dealer. I can draw a straight line through him. Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small-town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? I'm here now. My sleeves are rolled up and I'm getting to work. I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. 
Joe Caffey. Joe. Don't you threaten them. I would never. But you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? He never finished his work because you killed him before he could. I am not, nor have I ever been a violent man. Others I've worked with, a little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father, both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is who profits? Criminals, mobsters, lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People rarely show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise, Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick, who took bribe, buried the truth? What will his daughter think when I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter? And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. And they'll all know the common good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on, because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior, who turned out to be the mastermind yeah. behind this pill mill scheme. No, okay. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. Oh, how the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the bed. ครับจบชาร์ตเพิ่มนะครับเป็นการพัฒนาโลกที่ดีมากแล้วเราก็ได้แชร์นะครับว่า
ไอ้ตรงนั้นอยู่เบื้องหลังทั้งหมดนะครับทำให้ทุกคนเงินเพิ่งแรกเจอแต่แบบว่าเอามาเข้ามาว่าหวังผลทั้งหมดเอาใจบอกคนนี้พูดจาดีนะแต่แบ่งคันนี่คือแบบพูดจาดีแต่การทำเป็นแย่มากเรื่องน่าสนใจนะว่าผมก็คงทำให้อักจบสองฉากไว้แค่นี้แล้วกันนะครับยังไงขอบคุณทุกคนที่เข้ามาดูเอพิโซดหกซึ่งเป็นตอนจบแล้วก็คลิปนี้ที่เป็นการจบอีกแบบหนึ่งนะครับบอกยังไงก็ฝากช่องโคโปสามาด้วยแล้วกันนะครับขอบคุณทุกคนที่เข้ามาดูเราจะกันใหม่ก็อยากสนับสนุนช่องก็กดไลค์กดแชร์กดซับสไครต์ให้กับช่องโคโปนะครับฝากช่องเล็กๆช่องนี้ด้วยกันแต่ถ้าอยากสนุนถ้าอยากสนับสนุนช่องนะฮะก็สามารถดูที่เดสคริปชันของต่อคลิปได้เลยก็จะลงว่าสามารถโดนเน็ผ่านเพาคลิปมีหรือโดยตรงผ่านเลขบัญชีที่ลงได้นะครับสนับสนุนช่องเล็กๆช่องด้วยโอเคแล้วเจอใหม่เกมหน้าว่าจะเอาเกมอะไรมาเล่นนะครับวันนี้ไปก่อนไปแล้วสวัสดีครับคนที่เข้ามาดูด้วยนะครับ